Hey everybody, Home Slice Henry here, and in today's video, we'll be taking a look at a really fun theme team in the Ultra League Remix Cup. Now, I know this last week and a half of Open Ultra and Ultra Remix has been tough for a lot of trainers. There's just been a ton of XL Pokemon, and it's just been real sweaty. But today, the mad lad himself, Running Froggy, is here to remind us that you can have fun and go battle He's running a triple fire theme team. And before the video starts, he did want me to warn y'all that this is not a team you should run if you're trying to gain rank, but it's a fun team to use. All right, let's hop into the matchups here. Leading Blaziken into Armored Mewtwo, terrible lead to start off with, going to safe swap into the Darmanitan. As you can see, he does have Shadow Claw Typhlosion in the back, so that is going to be his hard counter to the Armored Mewtwo. Darmanitan shields up, going for the overheat here, and it's shielded. No, that's unfortunate, but Darmanitan able to get to the second overheat. Can it get both shields here? Nice amount of lag, shout out to Niantic, able to get both shields, which is very nice. In comes Typhlosion, Typhlosion does get a Shadow Claw through as the Mewtwo throws, which is nice, because now it should get there in three confusions, and able to get off this Blast Burn. Blast Burn will be taking out the Armored Mewtwo, and now there's a very healthy Typhlosion to take on whatever's in the back. And the opponent brings in a Gengar into a Shadow Claw Typhlosion, so they must be really weak in the back to fire. They're not able to get to the Shadow Ball, only able to get to the Shadow Punch, and this Blast Burn will be one-shotting that Gengar. What is in the back? It's a Venusaur. Oh no, come on, Typhlosion gets there on 1 HP, and Typhlosion fully sweeps a man, and that is going to be a good game. Hopping into the next match. Oh, awesome lead in Stunfisk into the Blaziken, and this is actually double nuke Blaziken with Blast Burn and Brave Bird. Oh my goodness. I didn't even notice because it was on screen for such little time in the first battle. That is awesome. Going for the Brave Bird, does get the shield, and now going to counter swap into Darmanitan. Now Darmanitan is exceedingly glassy, but Mandibuzz has almost no attack stat. So the nice thing is, is Darmanitan can actually soak up a move here. Gonna go for the Rock Slide. Gets the shield. Unfortunately, the Mandibuzz is still not in Rock Slide range. XL Mandibuzz is just too tanky, unfortunately. Going for the Rock Slide here and really hoping that a Rock Slide plus an Incinerator 2 should be enough to take it out. Oh, and the opponent saves it for later. And Beheim comes in. I think it's pronounced Beheim. Uh, let me know down in the comments. Beheim? Beheim? I'm not quite sure. Let me know down in the comments. How do you actually pronounce this Pokemon's name? I'm not 100% sure. You don't see it a lot in GBO. Blast Burn will take it out, and now it's all up to Blaziken. And Blaziken will be able to get to a Blast Burn before they do get to the back-to-back -back rock sides. Just have to watch for a potential sack swap onto the Mandibuzz. Bunch of lag. They do not sack swap, so this Blast Burn will be taking out the Galarian Stunfisk, and now can just counter down the Mandibuzz for the win. So very nicely done against a double XL team. Hopping into the next match, and this is a terrible matchup to see here. This is this is really, really not great to see. Also, is this a Hex Gengar? Okay, that is. All right, we are seeing some wild movesets over here. <laughs> Goes for the Blast Burn, gets the shield, and now brings in the Shadow Claw Typhlosion. This is enough for the Shadow Ball, correctly shields it, very nicely done, and the opponent is gonna bring in a Lapras. Opting to not even bait the Solar Beam, potentially a mistake there, but still able to get the shield. Now a Surf will not be taking them out, which is good, so now you should be able to get to the Solar Beam from here. Oh, but they opt to go for the Blast Burn. I think this is going to be a mistake, because unfortunately, yeah, they would have been able to get to the Solar Beam. So a definite mistake there as this Lapras is alive, it has energy, and a Lapras with energy against the Triple Fire team is absolutely devastating. And they're able to get to two, no! And this is looking like a good game because the Gengar is still alive in the back, and Gengar is going to, with the Shadow Punch, more or less be able to take out the Blaziken able to get it very low. So you can tell, uh, opposing player, if you're watching this, you are definitely going to want to run Shadow Claw on your Gengar. It's just a way better move. And Lapras comes in to get farmed down, 
and they had a surf etched in the back. So unfortunately not committing to the solar beam ended up costing the match. All right, hopping into the next match. Ooh, fire from the opposing team as well and incinerate Typhlosion. Going to be shielding up here, but as you can see, these counters are doing a ton of damage. So if Running Froggy wants to, he can double shield and counter all the way down and leave with a ton of energy and double nuke Blaziken can hit just about everything in the meta very hard. So I wouldn't be surprised to see a shield here. Oh, he actually no shields there. Not sure I agree with that decision. I mean, to be fair, Darmanitan often needs the shield. Let's see what they have in back. They have a Machamp in the back. Now the question is, does Machamp respect the overheat? Full sending it on the overheat here, and it lands! Oh, that does huge damage. They have a Grand Bull in the back, and now can bring in the Typhlosion. And Typhlosion with Shadow Claw is going to significantly outpace the Grand Bull. Decides to let that go. It's just the crunch. It was very unlikely that they were going to throw a self-debuffing move since this is their last Mon. And now, because they're resisting the charm, just able to get to the Blast Burn, and that is going to be a good game. So the Triple Fire theme team able to get another win. You'll love to see it. All right, hopping into the next match. Really nice lead, Blaziken into Snorlax. These counters are doing massive damage to the Snorlax, but then again, Glassy Blaziken is taking a lot of damage from Lick. Now the opponent switches out into a Gyarados. Unfortunately, a bunch of lag going for the Brave Bird here. Come on, yes it lands! Brings in the Darmanitan, and Darmanitan's able to incinerate down. Oh my goodness, what a play. And now Darmanitan going for the nuke against Snorlax. Snorlax actually decides to shield up, which definitely surprises me there. And committing to the second overheat to force the opposing Snorlax to throw. I like that play. So now Blaziken can come back in and Blaziken will do a lot of damage here. Definitely needing to shield this up. And I'm expecting we could see a swap here, which we do. And <laughs> it's a Venusaur. Oh no. This Venusaur is not gonna be happy. When they see what's in back, they preserve health on the Venusaur, thinking Venusaur has to have at least one good matchup against this team, but they do not. They go for the Sludge Bomb, but as we've seen, this Blast Burn is going to be one-shotting the Venusaur. And from here, unfortunately, the writing's on the wall for the Snorlax, and they concede the match. All right, hopping into the next match against someone who might have had their phone number as their, <laughs> as their username, and they are going to switch into the Armored Mewtwo. And here's where Shadow Claw Typhlosion is really nice in the Ultra League Remix meta because it does very well at countering Armored Mewtwo. And very nice charge move timing there, throwing in the middle of the confusion, so conceding two free turns of energy just to make sure that the opposing Armored Mewtwo will not get any extra turns. Very nicely done there. Shields up the Psy Strike, and now again going for the Blast Burn. And this will be very, very close to see if they can get this off before they get farmed down. And they get there. Shadow Claw Typhlosion, what a beast. Able to preserve Switch Advantage, which is so nice in this matchup. <laughs> And now, oh no, they do have a Gyarados in the back. Gyarados gets to the Aqua Tail. Oh man, this definitely kills Darmanitan. Darmanitan survives on one HP. Oh my goodness, Darmanitan living gets to the Rock Slide and now switches into the Blaziken. Blaziken is going to be hopping back in here to counter down and blast burn the Escavalier for the win. My goodness. That got scary at the end, but able to win switch advantage and align the Darmanitan onto the Escavalier. Amazing lead in the next game. The Agron stays in for way too long and now going for the Brave Bird on the Surfetch. Does he know? Oh, he knew. That's unfortunate. And now bringing in the Typhlosion. Now the thing is, switch advantage is definitely going to be important in this match because Agron, you definitely do not want that on Darmanitan as Darmanitan will get absolutely obliterated. So now Typhlosion going for the Blast Burn. Surfetched is fighting for shield, for switch advantage, I mean, and they're going to be able to get it. So things are looking a little rough here. Brings in the Darmanitan, going to attempt to incinerate down. Ooh, this is, this is looking very rough. Night Slash, 
takes him out. They bring in the Blaziken. They bring in an Articuno, possibly trying to get to an Ancient Power. They're not going to be able to get there. Blastburn will be one-shotting the Articuno, and all they have left in the back is Shreds of Surfetch, which gets farmed down, and the Agron, which cannot even get to a move. Oh my goodness. All right. <laughs> Hopping into the next match. Blaziken into Machamp. Going to save swap into the Darmanitan. And look at those counters on Darmanitan. Oh my goodness. Poor Darmanitan. And the Machamp can just go straight cross chop in this matchup. Because Darmanitan is squishy. That there's not even a point in throwing a rock side. Goes for the overheat. Does get the shield. And my guess is we'll probably... Ooh, double committing the shields to the Darmanitan. So opting to instead go for switch advantage. Interesting. Overheat does get the shield, but this is going to be tough because Machamp has a lot of loaded energy. You definitely have to bring back in the Blaziken as Blaziken at least takes neutral from the Sorok Slide, but that still does quite a bit. And the opponent going to bring out a Sylveon. Going straight for the Blast Burn. This will be doing a nice chunk of damage here. Hopefully not one-shotting, so then you can Shadow Claw down with Typhlosion. Come on. Oh, they get to the Psy Shock. Very unfortunate. Almost able to farm down. That Psy Shock does do a substantial amount of damage. There's still the Machamp in the back, and there's a Snorlax. But two Blast Burns will be enough to take out a Snorlax here. Just about. This will be really, really close. Okay. Going for the Blast Burn gets it so low, they get to the move, but Blaziken will be able to counter down the Snorlax here. So the question is, can Blaziken close here? And just not enough health. Not quite able to close, and that's a good game. All right, hopping into the final match, we have Blaziken into Lugia. Rough lead, going to save swap into the Darmanitan, and in comes a Regirock. And this is... Definitely not what you want to see as the Darmanitan as an overheat, which is an incredibly powerful move from Darmanitan. Being resisted doesn't even do half, but opting to try and play for switch advantage here. Not sure I personally agree with this particular play. Able to get the shield though. You know what? Honestly, I wasn't expecting the Regirock to shield. Now that they shielded, I'm not too mad at the play. Stone Edge will take out, but you can farm down with the Blaziken and get a nice energy lead. Now this will hurt. It is neutral, but opting to shield it up, but can farm down and should be able to leave with close to a Brave Bird loaded, which is very, very nice. In comes the Lugia, going for the Brave Bird, doing maximum damage here. Let's see if they shield. They do not, that does big damage. In comes the Typhlosion, and Typhlosion putting in work and able to get off the Blast Burn before they reach the Arrow Blast. Very, very nice. They get to a move. Typhlosion just has to eat whatever this is. It's just the Sky Attack, and they have a Chestnut in the back, able to get off a Blast Burn. So the opponent had the Grass in the back, hoping it would be useful somewhere against his team, but it never was. Able to farm down, oh my goodness. Now the question is, is this the Sky Attack or the Arrow Blast? It's the Sky Attack, Blaziken survives, and that is a good game. Oh my goodness. So some very, very fun battles there. A definite theme team, not a team you would want to run if you're climbing rank, but a very, very fun team. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you're enjoying the content, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And a special thank you, as always, to our members here on YouTube. The support you guys provide is absolutely incredible. So thank you guys oh so very much. And until next time, I've been Home Slice Henry.